Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Netherlands not only has windmills and tulips, but also 12 Fortune 500 companies, which are almost unique in their respective fields, especially the lithography giant ASML. Originally living a peaceful and romantic life, it was dragged into a war without gunpowder by the technology war ignited by the United States. Speaking of lithography machines, this is an indispensable equipment for chip manufacturing. The higher the precision of the lithography machine, the higher the precision and yield of the chip, and the stronger the performance. In the global lithography machine market, ASML of the Netherlands occupies about 80% of the market, and its high-end EUV lithography machine has achieved 100% monopoly. ASML has also become a guest of honor for various chip manufacturers. As early as 2018, SMIC extended a hand of cooperation to ASML, hoping to introduce an EUV lithography machine. The deposit was paid, but in the end, due to the obstruction of the United States, this EUV lithography machine has been unable to enter the mainland. However, the DUV lithography machine that can produce mature, traditional process chips is not subject to too much regulation and can be purchased as long as you spend money. Based on ASML's DUV lithography machine, China has not only achieved the localization of 28 nanometers process chips, but also achieved mass production of 14 nanometers process chips. Seeing that things are not going well, the United States wants to plug this loophole again. So it has pulled the Netherlands and Japan to form a blockade alliance, and this time it will not let go of even the DUV lithography machine. ASML is fully capable of resisting, why not sell it if it doesn't want to? ASML is the only company that can produce EUV lithography machines, and it also controls about 80% of DUV lithography machines. The lithography machine market is indeed irreplaceable, but ASML's production capacity is limited. Chip manufacturers such as TSMC, Samsung, and Intel are all shareholders of ASML. These three are not enough to sell, and shipments to Chinese companies may be insignificant to ASML. In addition, although China has the world's largest chip market, mainstream chip orders still rely mainly on imports. In the third quarter of 2024, TSMC has a market share of 64.9% and is firmly in the leading position in the chip manufacturing industry, followed by Samsung. Chinese companies cannot meet the needs of China, which accounts for 50% of the global chip market. ASML ships to TSMC, Samsung, and Intel and half of its consumers are still from China. Therefore, ASML has always been arrogant. For example, in the early days, it ridiculed the Chinese chip industry, saying that even if you give it a blueprint, you can't make a lithography machine. After the release of the Mate 70 series, ASML CEO still said shamelessly that China's chip technology lags behind the West by 15 years. It is worth noting that Bill Gates, who has a keen sense of smell, completely disagrees with ASML's point of view. He had predicted before that the suppression of Chinese chips would definitely have a counter-effect, which would not only force China to conduct independent research and development, but also bring immeasurable losses to European and American chip-related industries. Now the big reversal has come, and Bill Gates unfortunately came true. After ASML released its third-quarter report, ASML's index continued to fall, 
because the new orders were only 2.6 billion euros, only half of the market expectations, and it really couldn't sell. First, ASML can no longer get more orders from the Chinese market. The United States has cut off the supply of 7 nanometers and other advanced process AI chips. Overseas chip manufacturers, such as TSMC, have no orders and naturally no longer need more EUV lithography machine orders. This move forms a closed loop, and EUV lithography machines are naturally unsaleable. Secondly, before the ban, Chinese companies had already purchased enough DUV lithography machines in advance. This move not only promoted the improvement of domestic chip production capacity, but also further enhanced the cost-effectiveness of mature process chips. According to data released by the General Administration of Customs, China's chip exports in 2024 will exceed 1.1 trillion yuan, doubling compared with 2018. TSMC's annual revenue is only about 70 billion US dollars. The rapid rise of high-quality and low-cost Chinese chips has squeezed the market space of overseas chip manufacturers to a certain extent, causing the latter to reduce their demand for DUV lithography machines and even abandon the mature process chip production lines under construction. In addition, after years of careful polishing, Chinese companies have begun to emerge in the lithography market. For example, domestic 90 nanometers lithography machines have been mass-produced, the SME lithography machine independently developed by Shanghai Microelectronics has entered domestic chip factories, and the price is only one-seventh of the DUV lithography machine. As the pace of domestic 28 nanometers DUV lithography machines is getting faster and faster, the industry competition will inevitably increase and squeeze ASML's market share in China and even the world. In general, whether it is the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands joining forces to monopolize, or American chip companies cutting off supply to Chinese companies, they are accelerating the de-Westernization process of Chinese chips and related industrial chains. Past experiences have made Chinese companies deeply realize that relying on external technology and equipment will only be controlled by others. Only by unswervingly taking the path of independent research and development can we seize the initiative in future competition.